This summer, brought to you by the same studio that brought you Cocaine Bear. Now comes a new journey. Warpugs, we're at the Fat Files. It is time to learn a little bit more than we knew before, but I already think I have an idea of what we're going to be jumping into this time. Warpugs, it's Pablo Escobar. It's the hippos. I didn't know he had hippos. In some ways, I think I was better off not knowing the guy had hippos, but that's neither here nor there. We know now it is time to be utterly disturbed by the strangeness of real life. There are some facts that I just really didn't need to know. Like, number one, were you guys made aware of the fact there are more tigers in captivity in Texas than there are anywhere else in the world? That should alarm everyone. It also should make me feel a little bit safer. But I'm on the same continent with tigers. This is a problem. This is an issue for me. But today, we're going to talk about hippos. And no, I don't mean me after I get in the shower. I mean... Let's just go. That was... I'm an idiot. Fat Files is the fat electrician. He's talking about things that aren't, you know, America just utterly raffle stomping the life out of something or doing something while, the, you know, a whole bunch of people in the back are holding up gang signs and yelling world star. Here we go. So I did a video last week over on my main channel, Band of Beavers, when America <laughs> airdropped beavers into the woods to save the environment the environment and i was like wow that was a pretty funny video i wonder if it there's was. any other funny conservation stories so i looked into it and yeah <laughs> yeah there are let's go all right today we're talking about pablo escobar's cocaine hippos that are currently messing up the ecosystem in colombia threatening the entire amazon rainforest and that colombia also can't get rid of because some court in the united states granted cocaine hippos personhood which is potentially groundbreaking legal precedent I what <laughs> yeah what? Okay. Nicholas, did you get a beer vending machine? Maybe. Why? For the home gym downstairs. What home gym? Crandall Fitness sponsored the video and gave us a home gym. But we have a gym membership. Well, first of all, I want to be able to lift weights the way the Lord intended. Oh, no. Oh, come on, man. That's disgusting. You should wear clothes. My home gym's already ruined. Anyways, Crandall Fitness, small business based out of Texas. They have a couple of employees. It's ran by a husband and a wife that were mad during the pandemic that they couldn't go to the gym and they couldn't really afford any nice gym equipment. So they yeah. decided to design and have their own made so that normal people can afford fancy home gyms and not have to worry about their gym being closed. The equipment's high quality. I don't know. It's heavy. I pick it up. I put it down. It hasn't broken yet. What else more could you possibly want? Anyways, I'm going to have a link and a discount code down below. Go check out Crandall Fitness. Let's get back to the video. Let's all right, go. from the top, Pablo Escobar. He's the number one drug kingpin of the 1980s, if not of all time. Under his reign, I guess you would call it, his cartel was responsible for about 80% of the cocaine globally, and they were making about $22 billion a year, of which Pablo what? Escobar was profiting $60 million a day to himself. Pablo Escobar oh, was making so on. much money selling nose beer that he was actually listed as the seventh wealthiest man on the planet in Forbes for like a decade. And it's hard to comprehend how much money that actually is, but to give you an idea, According to Pablo Escobar's son, when he was a little kid, they were camping one night and they didn't have any firewood. So Pablo Escobar burnt $2 million in cash so that they could make some s'mores. I haven't had anything yet. So how can I have some more of nothing? You're killing me, small. Okay. Uh, my feelings are legitimately hurt and I'm going to cry. And this man was spending $2,500 a month on rubber bands to hold all of his $100 bills together. That's how much money this guy was personally making. This guy made so much money selling nose torque that he didn't even have anything to buy anymore, so he just started spending all of his money on whatever he could get his hands on. By the time he was done, he owned 141 houses, 142 planes, 20 helicopters, and 32 yachts. And at some point along this spending extravaganza, he's like, I guess I'm just gonna start collecting rare, wild, exotic animals because uh -huh. there's literally nothing else I can spend because my money 
because Leon. why he not? Rhino. He had an elephant. He had a giraffe. He had a bunch of exotic birds. And one of the things that he smuggled in was four baby hippos, one male and three females. And as those hippos grew and matured, Pablo Escobar may or he may not have fed people to them based on their ethnic background, or at least that's what the Netflix TV shows led me to believe. Okay. <laughs> Either way, fast forward to 1993, Escobar's compound gets raided and okay. all gets to the Colombian government, and they have to figure out what to do with this entire zoo that this man has living in his private compound, and pretty much all of the animals get turned over to either zoos or sanctuaries. Right. All of them, except for the four hippos. And I can hear the comment section already. Buh, that doesn't make any sense because if you can transport an elephant, why can't you transport a hippo? Buh. Okay, look, I understand your logic going into this. That's a big-ass animal. That's a big-ass animal. If you can move one, why can't you move the other? True. Simply put, it's because elephants and other large animals can be reasoned with. You know what I mean? You can roll up on an elephant and be like, hey, chief, proposal. How about I give you some peanuts and you get your big ass on the truck? And they're going to be like, <laughs> okay, I'll walk my big goofy-ass ears up on the truck for you. You can't reason with a hippo. All no. Right? Hippos are territorial assholes that will kill you for no other reason than the fact that you got a little bit too close for their liking. They are the deadliest animal on the planet, responsible for killing over 500 people per year. Yeah. Buh, but I still think they're kind of cute. Buh. Okay, first. Baby hippos are adorable. They are. Adult hippos are things out of your worst nightmare. First of all, no, it's not. Objectively speaking, it looks like Voldemort fucked a grizzly bear. Okay. Second. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing cute about this animal. It's absolutely horrifying, okay? You're like, oh, it's chubby and it's cute. No, it's not chubby, okay? It is almost 4,000 pounds of straight muscle and bone. Hippos are so dense, they can't float, okay? Are you picking up what I'm putting down right now? Hippos this is can't true. swim. Most people are probably hearing this for the first time. No, they sink to the bottom of the river, and then they run along the bottom of the river, and then when they get out of breath, they jump up, get a breath, and sink back down again. Mm -hmm. Okay, and just so we're on the same page, 4,000 pounds is bigger than most most cars like a Toyota Corolla is like 3,000 pounds this right. is literally a semi aquatic muscle tank that's got 12 to 18 inch stalactites for teeth that maxes out at 19 miles an hour on foot okay it's absolutely horrifying this animal is so unstoppable it has no natural predators you can True. make an argument that when they're a baby hippo they might get eaten up by alligators now that's cute okay that is of that like look at this thing look at it it looks so fat and derpy. You, like, you can't argue with the fact that that's cute, but the things behind it, that ain't cute. That's murder on legs. Alligators or lions, and that does happen once in a while. But even then, there's accounts of alligators letting baby hippos chew on them like chew toys when they're teething because the alligators know at this point that if they hurt the baby hippos, all the full-grown hippos are going to dismantle them. Once hippos reach maturity, there's absolutely nothing that can kill them, okay? You can get on the internet and find videos of a pride of lions attacking a single full-grown hippo, like lions on the hippo's back mm -hmm. biting it, and the hippos just walking towards the river completely unfazed because it's not even hurting him. The only thing that kind of regulates the hippo population in Africa is the dry season because once the rivers and the ponds dry up, the hippos can't survive. Okay, do you understand what I've just told you? This animal is so fucking gangster, the only known predator it has is the dry season. Literally, the only thing capable of taking it out is Mother Nature with a natural phenomenon. Sorry, we're yes. unhinged at this point, but my point... When the only... The only thing that stops you is literally the planet. There's a problem. Point is, you're not getting the hippos on the truck to move them if they don't want to be moved. True. And hippos don't want to be moved. They want to be left alone to do hippo things, and that's what's going to happen. So all these Colombian special forces guys that broke in and raided Escobar's compound are like, I guess we're leaving the hippos here. And then over the course of the next couple years, either somebody just let the hippos out or the hippos broke out into a nearby river system and they've been living there ever since. Okay, now fast forward 30 years from 1993 to 2003, they know of 170 of these hippos and there could be more out there. So the hippo population in Colombia is growing exponentially and it's estimated to reach a thousand hippos by 2030 if we don't do something about it. And this is an environmental disaster, not just because yes. the hippos are dangerous to people, but because the hippos 
poop in the body of water that they reside in and their poop is so toxic that it creates this algae and these large cultures of algae start floating around the top of the water and this algae actually eats all the oxygen out of the water which kills off all the fish and not having fish kills off all the birds and it's fucking up the entire ecosystem in Colombia. And there's nothing to stop it or even kind of slow it down because there's no dry season in Colombia. Which means that pretty much every hippo born in Colombia is living out its entire lifespan of roughly 50 years and every female male hippo gives birth to roughly seven other hippos and their population is going to continue to grow exponentially until some of them are forced to move into other areas of water and if those hippos make their way into the Amazon rainforest we're all fucked because the Amazon rainforest is one of if not the biggest ecosystems on earth that helps stabilize the climate oh of my the entire God. planet because it stores 200 billion tons of carbon and if we mess up that ecosystem it can have planetary wide implications and who knows what's going to happen so clearly we got to get rid of these hippos right we're gonna have to call and kill off all the hippos it's the only option give me kentucky ballistics demolition ranch and brandon herrera now it's not fair it sucks for the hippos but that's just what has to happen right apparently wrong in 2009 one of the hippos was being extremely aggressive towards fishermen and the army stepped in to kill this hippo before it started killing fishermen that were trying to feed their families and they posted a picture of this dead hippo that they had just killed named pepe on the internet and the planet had a fucking meltdown because the colombian government was killing hippos now obviously when i say the entire planet i'm being hyperbolic and what yes. i actually mean is a bunch of self-righteous entitled pricks i mean animal rights activists from first world countries that don't actually know or understand anything about the environment or conservation as a whole but they do know yes. that it feels good to save animals in between sips of their starbucks frappuccino by bitching at people on twitter so because a bunch of people whose opinions shouldn't even matter in the first place are going to be upset if columbia kills these hippos for the past 15 years they've been trying to find a different alternative besides killing them in order to to get rid of all these hippos first thing they did they tried to capture some put them to sleep and then neuter them this is bob barker have your pet spayed or neutered i'll just die already it didn't it didn't go that great like i said it's fourth are you a hippo are you a hippo i'm just asking you're very cute stay up here and watch me watch the thing about hippos come on or do you want to just keep down? Let's go. 1,000 pounds of muscle. And if you didn't know, male hippos have internal genitalia, meaning that it's really hard to tell male from female. And it's also very hard to neuter them because you have to cut through 4,000 pounds of muscle to get to any of the genitalia in the first place. And then the hippos didn't have great outcomes as far as surviving the surgery and being released back into the wild. So next thing we could try, we could tranquilize the hippos. And then while they're asleep, we could transport them to a zoo or a sanctuary of some kind, right? That's a too many of them. Idea if you don't think about it i mean what happens when you tranquilize a hippo well where are the hippos first of all they're in the water what happens when you tranquilize something it falls asleep what happens if a hippo falls asleep in water it sinks because they don't float and then they fucking drown and you can't get a 4,000 pound animal out of a river in time so after like 10 years of trying alternative methods, 2020 rolls around and the Colombian government's just like, I mean, there's nothing else we can do. We're just going to have to cull and kill all these hippos. Right. It's literally the only option without having planetary wide implications. This is so, true. Naturally, a bunch of animal rights activist groups got together in the U.S. and they sued the Colombian government because they were going to kill the hippos. But Saul, how can I sue these people in institutions? I have no grounds. Do me a favor. Let me answer that question in person. Better call Saul. During this court case, because the hippos have never set foot in the United States of America, they literally have nothing to do with the United States in any way whatsoever, and the United States legal system has no jurisdiction over it at all. The federal judge in this court case had to declare the hippos interested persons so that they could even hear the court case in the first place. But by doing that, this judge inadvertently basically admitted that hippos have personhood, which means that they have human rights. And with the way the U.S. court works, once one court decides something, it sets a precedent and all the future court cases get to refer back to it all the time, which means hippos and potentially by extension, the entire animal kingdom could now have human rights. Anyone can be anything. And let's be honest, if you've made it this far into one of my YouTube videos, I know exactly where your brain just went. You're like, holy shit, this means the hippos have the second amendment. And the only thing scarier than a hippo is a hippo with an AR-15. You don't. <laughs> I don't need an AR-15. Buy a shotgun. Yes, Joe Biden, or 
hippos with shotguns. I don't care. Hippos with guns are terrifying. Now, yes. obviously, that's ridiculous and silly, and we're just joking around. However, what you should actually be concerned about is the potential that next time you accidentally, like, hit a deer with your car. Now, your friendly neighborhood tree hugger environmentalist can take you to court and try to have charges pressed against you for vehicular manslaughter because you didn't just accidentally hit a deer. You killed a person with your car. Because now, animals aren't animals. They're people, and people have human rights, and it completely upends our entire understanding of how the law functions today. Thankfully, this is probably not going to end up happening. I read through a bunch of like actual lawyers and legal scholars analyzing this and their conclusion is that it's kind of a bullshit technicality and it, it shouldn't is. ever set a precedent. However, shouldn't still implies that it kind of sort of might one day, which is horrifying. But U.S. law yes. and precedent aside, it's affecting the Colombian cocaine hippo situation because it's putting a ton of political pressure on the Colombian government. Now, in order to fully appreciate what is going on here, you really got to put yourself in the Colombian politician's shoes, right? Uh -huh. On one hand, you've got an environmental disaster with potentially planet-altering implications that's being instigated by cocaine hippos from Pablo Escobar. And on the other hand, the United States, you know, the country whose military budget is literally twice the size of your nation's GDP, just came out of left field and they were like, oh, hey, by the way, way the hippos in your country no other hippos and no other animal in the planet ever for that matter has ever been considered a human but the cocaine hippos in your country we consider them to be people now and the colombian government is like what the fuck does that even mean like if we call these hippos to save the world are you guys going to consider that a genocide or like what's going to happen you're going to put an embargo quit doing business with us wreck our entire economy oh over my hippos? god what oh my god i just i it's taken a little bit for this to sink in, but the nugget, my brain, oh, it hurts. Oh, it hurts. And that's pretty much where we're at today. Nobody really knows what's going on. The Colombian government doesn't really know what to do because everybody's too busy arguing about the moral and ethical dilemma of killing off hippos slash people while the hippos are in the background pooping all over the rivers and the ponds, killing off all the fish and the birds, destroying the ecosystems of Colombia and potentially by extension in the future, the entire Amazon rainforest and nobody's doing anything about it. I, I feel like I'm in an episode of Black Mirror. You know what I mean? Because maybe I'm simple, maybe I'm stupid, maybe I'm just a horrible person and I don't see the value in all animals' lives in relation to saving the entire planet. However, Admit. I feel like the options are pretty simple. A, save the environment. B, give a fuck about the feelings of people that don't know what they're talking about because it will make them feel better if hippos don't die, even though they wouldn't know about it if they did. And somehow, the feelings of random people is winning while the clock is ticking down to an environmental catastrophe. Like, the entire thing is making oh me lose God. so much faith in humanity, it's unbelievable because I- Thank you. I, I you know, every once in a while I click on a- oh. Oh. I'm now absolutely certain that aliens could crash land on Earth. Like I say aliens, this like all the time. Alien, you know, not intelligent life forms. Their sole purpose is to run around and kill anything that's alive. Those things could crash land and start murdering everything. And I guarantee you there would be activist groups that were protesting to make it illegal to fight back against these aliens because they have a right to live too. I do not call them aliens because alien is a derogatory term for anything. Demi Lovato, shut the hell up. Oh my God. Mm. Oh, that's so true. Even extraterrestrials. That's where people are at and it's the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. Now, my personal opinion, and this is gonna show you how horrible of a person I am, I don't think the Colombian government should kill off all these hippos. I really don't, because that would cost the Colombian taxpayers money and that's dumb. The Colombian government should issue tags and let a bunch of foreign, rich, wealthy hunters come in and kill hippos for $100,000 a piece. They'll pay money to fix the problem for you and then you can this take all the millions of dollars that that would net Colombia and put it back into preserving and helping the environment, which has been damaged by these hippos. But we're never ever going to do that because that would make sense and making sense usually hurts people's feelings. So I guess this is just where we're at. I'm sorry. This video got way more angry and unhinged than I ever thought it would. So I guess in conclusion, this is a story about how Pablo Escobar, the drug kingpin, smuggled in four baby hippos into Colombia. And now generations later, all of the hippos are somehow considered people and they're going to destroy the Amazon rainforest and nobody's going to do anything about it because a bunch of self-righteous know-nothings think they're helping. Thanks for watching. Best way to support the video is go buy Why? some merch over at thefatelectrician.com. Quack, bang, out. I need a fucking beer. Nine, 1,000. Uh, I got a lot to say about this one. 999, 1,000.
I thought you said we couldn't lift naked anymore. It's so much better this way. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. War pugs, if you're newer to the channel, you know of a phrase that comes from me quite a bit. I just lost faith in humanity. I just didn't know I had. And I... I need a, I need emotional support pug. I need an emotional support pug. There we go. Yes, Daddy's in a state. Daddy is in a state right now. War pugs. I don't like stupid. I, I really, really just. It annoys me. It frustrates me. It bothers me. And the one thing I can't stand is. One sec. I'm gonna give you a kiss and set you down. You don't deserve to be around such things. No, you do not. Okay. The one thing that irritates me more than anything else is a argument that is like, if you're going to debate with somebody, if your argument is stupid, verifiably, 100% stupid then I can't take you seriously. I can't engage with you rationally. The only thing that I'm going to do is get angry about what you're doing or saying. So when I hear that hippos are causing an ecological disaster and a bunch of idiots are sitting there like, no, we gotta save the hippos. Just, I just can't, man. I can't with some of these people these days. I just, oh God. You sit there and you try to just stay sane, but this world is just destined to make me lose my mind, okay? One of these days, you guys are gonna hear a pop, like just a pop from somewhere coming in off the wind, like, you know, a supersonic burst, and that's going to be my brain finally exploding from having to deal with one too many stupid arguments. I'm... S <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But if you don't know... Like, if you don't know... It... <sighs> I've watched too many people too many times make arguments in favor of incidents or people that would gladly take them off the census. And for that reason, anytime I hear an argument like this one, where it's like, oh, we gotta save the hippo, I'm sorry. Do you know what they're doing? Do you know what happens if they continue doing what they're doing? Do you understand, Danielson? It's not something that you, no. Stop protesting this. Stop being in. Uh, War pugs. Um, I need about. I need fifteen minutes because I didn't know. I didn't know. Okay. In the United States, when uh, civilization began pretty much filling in filling in gaps in areas, other animals got pushed out of those gaps. One of those said animals was wolves. And we started to uh, basically wipe the wolves out. Um, hunters would attack wolves and bears and other large predators. This had an unintended effect on the coyote population, which the coyote population pretty much exploded. And ever since then, we have been in a fight against coyotes. Coyotes are considered pest animals. In most states, including California of all places, you can shoot a coyote for any reason at any time of day, okay? that That's the case in a lot of states. There's also the boar population in Texas. The boars are invasive species. They are an ecological nightmare in Texas. 
and in the surrounding states. You can actually rent a helicopter which will fly you over so you can shoot boar because they're an invasive species that rapidly breeds and destroys any ecosystem they're in. But yet we want to keep something that is a bore on enough performance enhancing drugs to turn Stephen Hawking into Usain Bolt. We want to keep that around in the place that provides our oxygen. This is a good idea. This is a great idea. Let's protest this. Leave the hippos alone. I can't wait for the world to end. Oh my god. People are stupid. I'm going to get up from here. I'm going to go make myself a can of chili. I'm going to make myself a can of chili. Put some cheese on top of that. Eat that. Come back here. Edit this. Get it online so you guys can laugh at my frustration and or either join in it. Um, one of the two, but I'm pissed off now. I didn't intend on being pissed off. I, I, I really enjoy watching fat electrician videos for, you know, the comedic value of a lot of things, but this actually pisses me off. Warpox, I'm taking off. I don't get, I don't get wired about a lot of things. I have a long fuse, but stupid arguments piss me off. Stupid reasons not to do something logical piss me off, and it especially pisses me off when you're talking about something like this. It's the Amazon rainforest, you idiots. I'm sorry, I know the hippo babies are cute, but they gotta go, okay? Can we at least do some math and figure that out? I'm gonna go cry. War Pugs, links in the description down below. All the fat electricians links, including for his new sponsor for the gym. My links are in the description below. Including for my uh the wish list for the new house. I'm gonna go. I, I, I need I need food. I don't drink, but this video almost made me want to. I'll catch you guys next time.